close your eyes and make yourself comfortable and softly repeat to yourself, I am still, I am peaceful. Take a deep breath into your nose and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. Again, take a deep breath in through your nose and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. Again, deep breath in through your nose and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. That's fantastic. You're doing really, really well. Now imagine that your feet feel all floppy and limp, but very, very relaxed. Almost as if they're falling asleep, but not quite. And now imagine all of your body feeling the same way, all floppy and limp. And it's like you feel all free and floaty. It's like you're just floating anywhere you want with nowhere special to be. And you are so relaxed and you feel so very happy. Now imagine that you have roots growing out from the soles of your feet. Roots that look just like the roots of a tree. Very long and very wobbly. And they are anchoring you into the ground. Keeping you safe and strong. And you can hear your roots growing through the ground. And you can hear them as they push their way through the soil. Can you hear it? I can. You can feel the earth moving aside for your roots to pass. Can you feel that too? Can you feel the soil under your feet? Can you feel it moving? Does it tickle you just a little bit? Now notice how your body is relaxing so much more. Just allow your muscles to become so very soft and so very limp. And you feel so lovely and warm. And you tingle just a little bit. It feels so comfortable. And your body just seems to relax more and more with every word that you hear. Deeper and deeper. It's a pure relaxation. Now this is a little story, a short one, about two great friends. So once upon a time, in the icy wonderland of the South Pole, there lived a cheerful, happy penguin whose name was Percy. Now Percy had sleek, black and white feathers that kept him warm in the frosty air and he just loved exploring the vast sparkling snowfields and playing with his friends. Now one day Percy heard about a magical park made entirely of ice and excitement filled his heart as he waddled his way through the glistening snow looking for this enchanting place. Soon after, he stumbled upon the park and it was a breathtaking sight. It was created entirely from ice and snow and it shone like the sun and it glistened and sparkled. The park was adorned with magnificent sculptures of flowers and each petal sparkled like a diamond in the sunlight, making it even brighter even shinier. As Percy marvelled at the icy beauty, 
he noticed a friendly polar bear whose name was Jeff. Jeff had a thick snowy white coat and a playful twinkle in his eyes and he was very big. So big in fact that Percy was only the size of one of Jeff's big paws. Percy approached Jeff with a warm smile and they quickly became the best of friends. They did look an odd sight though, a giant polar bear and a tiny penguin walking side by side. It was really quite funny to see. Percy asked Jeff if he would like to play on the icy park with him. Well, of course, Jeff said, yes, I would. He told Percy that he had wanted to explore this place himself, but didn't want to do it on his own. Percy told him not to worry as they could now do it together, now that they were best friends. So Percy and Jeff began to explore the ice park together. They slid down the sparkling ice slides and then they shot off the bottom of it because it was so slippy and they landed with a bump and this made them both laugh out loud. Next, they ran over to play on the frozen merry-go-round, twirling round and round until they both got dizzy and then they had to sit down in the snow to stop the spinning. But they were having so much fun together. All they were doing was laughing and having fun. They were really enjoying themselves. Then they giggled as they tossed snowballs at each other. Percy got Jeff with the snowball right on top of his head, making Jeff splutter as some of it actually went in his mouth. But it tasted good though. They laughed so much that the sound of it echoed through the crisp, clean air. And with every step that they took, they left behind delicate footprints in the soft, powdery snow. Well, Percy's were delicate. And there were Jeff's great big paw marks and Percy's tiny little webbed ones. So yeah, Percy's were delicate, Jeff's not so much. They walked into the heart of this beautiful park and it's there they discovered a cosy igloo made entirely of ice and it had a tiny little door too. So they squeezed inside. Well, it really was a squeeze for Jeff as he was so big, but he managed it and then he promptly fell flat on his big furry face. They both laughed out loud. And Jeff got up and brushed himself down. Inside the little igloo, it was nice and warm. And they decided to have a little look around. And there was lots of things there that they could use. But what they did find was big, soft beds made of fluffy snow. And they were feeling a bit tired now. Well, they would be after all that playing and running around and having snowball fights. They decided they needed a little sleep. So they snuggled up together, feeling the coolness of the ice against their feathers and the fur. But they weren't cold at all because they had each other. They both gave a big yawn and closed their eyes. And they felt a sense of peace and tranquility wash all over them making them feel very safe and very protected. And whilst they slept, in their dreams, Percy and Jeff embarked on more magical adventures and they were soaring through the starry sky on ice slides, dancing with the shimmering snowflakes and most of all, laughing all the time. They discovered frozen flowers that bloomed in all shades of blues and purples and it was filling the air with this sweet, crisp fragrance. They watched as beautiful birds made of ice flew through the sky and their dreams were just as good as being in the real park. They so enjoyed it. 
When the morning arrived, and they've had a really good sleep, Percy and Jeff woke up with their hearts filled with joy and gratitude for the fun that they had shared, even whilst they slept. They were so grateful to have found each other, and they knew that their friendship was a treasure to be cherished forever. So with promises to meet again, they bid farewell to the ice park and to each other and return to their snowy homes. And from that day forward, Percy and Jeff carried the memories of their icy adventures in their hearts and they would always remember it. And whenever they felt lonely, they would think of their playful escapades and the beauty of the ice park, reminding them both of the everlasting bonds of friendship, knowing that one day soon they would meet again and travel to the ice park once more. And so, in the vast and snowy landscape of the South Pole, Percy and Jeff continued their lives and explored whenever they could, making new friends and creating cherished memories, all the while embracing the wonders of the frozen world around them. But now it's time for you to sleep in your nice, soft, cosy bed. So give a big yawn and close your eyes. Night-night. <laughs>